Hello everybody, welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. Are you ready to get started with Lesson 9? Lesson 9 is, how much do you weigh? Be careful, don't ask adults this question, especially women. It's not a polite question. But you can ask your friends who are younger, how much do you weigh? How heavy are you? Okay, so in this lesson, we will focus on you weigh different amounts on the other planets. Oh, seems like a bit of a difficult lesson, right? But we'll look at that in the reading. So we need to study vocabulary first to be able to study the reading. Okay, you ready? Let's begin with the first word. The first, whoa, what's that? That's crazy, isn't it? You see a pig here? A pig has wings? Can a pig fly? Oh, that's crazy. If somebody asks you, can a pig, this is a pig, can a pig fly? <laughs> that's crazy, right? Uh, that's silly. Not able to happen. No way. It is impossible. 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 Okay? That's crazy. Can a pig fly? No way. No way. That's the same meaning. It's impossible. It is impossible. It's impossible. This is a long word. Let's practice the pronunciation. Impossible. Put it together very quickly. Impossible. Impossible. Okay? So impossible? No way. It can never happen. Okay? Let's go to the next word. Number two. Wow, these guys are having fun, aren't they? These look like they're astronauts. They're in training. There's, they're upside down. What's going on? The force that pulls everything down to the ground, right? Right now, I'm standing on the ground. Maybe you're sitting in your chair. There's a force that's pulling us towards the ground. What is that force? That force is gravity. 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 In this picture, there is no gravity. So people are upside down. They don't weigh anything. There's no force. There's no gravity pulling them to the ground. So it's very interesting here. These, this is how astronauts can train. If there's no gravity, that's the way it is away from the earth, off the earth. In outer space, there's no gravity because the earth makes that force. The earth is so big, it has gravity, okay? That's an important thing to remember for the reading. Number three, look at this. What is this? This is a feather, right? This is a feather, but that's not our word. I'll just write what this is here. This is a feather. If you pick up a feather, wow, it's very easy to pick up, right? You don't have to be strong to pick up a feather. You just pick it up. So it is easy to lift. It is light, light. Now, what if we use light to compare two different things? Let's say we have two friends. We have one friend, whoa, one friend, okay? Her name, this is Anne. Her name is Anne. Then we have another friend, and his name, okay, wow, this guy is kind of big. He looks like a snowman, really, okay? He's got big feet here, okay? got another leg here and another big foot, okay? I'm not a great artist, but his name is Joe. Now, if we look at our friends, we can say that Anne, Anne is light. Joe is not light. So let's compare them. We can say Anne is lighter than Joe. Lighter, L-I-H-G-H-T-E-R. We add E-R to the adjective to compare them. We say Anne is lighter than Joe. And that's how we compare the two people using the word. Anne is lighter than Joe. Okay, so many adjectives you can use to compare two different things. And we'll see that in the reading. Okay, 
number four. <laughs> okay, sorry about the picture. Well, it looks like Joe's sister, right? <laughs> okay, so hard to lift. What's the opposite of light? Pandero light is heavy, heavy. So just as we did before with light, we said Anne is lighter than Joe. We could also say Joe is heavier, heavier. Now heavy, right? Have, oops, sorry. What am I doing? <laughs> H A H E A V. But we have a Y here. We have a Y. So how do we change that? We have to change the Y to an I and then add our E R. I'm sorry. That's kind of it's kind of uh, messy. Let me write it so it's a little bit clearer for you. H E A V. Change the Y to an I and then add E R. So Joe is heavier than Anne, and this would be the comparison for heavy. Okay, so light, lighter, heavy, heavier. Okay, we need to know that for the reading. Okay, next word. Okay, what's going on here? To have a weight. If if something has a weight and you want to know what is that weight, this person weighs a hundred kilograms. What is this person doing? They stand on a scale. This is a scale, and what do they do? They weigh themselves. This is a verb to weigh. If you weigh yourself, you want to know what is your weight. You have a weight. You want to know what is my weight or how much do I weigh? How much? Do I weigh? How much do I weigh? Stand on a scale. The scale will tell you how much you weigh. Okay. So to have a weight to weigh something. Okay. The next word. Wow, this is a really cool picture, isn't it? Do you know what planet this is? This is a planet in our solar system. It's the largest. Okay, the largest. That's superlative, right? Planet in the solar system. The most. The largest planet in our solar system is, of course, Jupiter. 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 It's the largest planet. In the solar system, it is larger than any other planet. Larger than any other planet, it is the largest, and its name is Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay, next one. Whoa, are you hungry? This looks delicious, right? I hope you're not hungry. Okay, twice the amount. So let's say a hamburger is usually only this big. Right? Maybe it's only this big, but you make it twice the amount, two times, two times the amount. Some people just do this two times, two times the amount. Of course, twice the amount. You say it's double, right? Sometimes, if you go into a hamburger fast food restaurant, you can say, "Can I have a double hamburger?" Right? It looks like this because this is a single hamburger, and then we add、uh, the same on top, and that makes it a double hamburger, a double. So you you know you could、uh, do many things that could be double, right? Double meat on your sandwich, right? Double cheese. Put two times the normal amount on your sandwich or whatever it is, and then it's double. It is twice the amount. Also, to write twice, twice. It's twice the amount. It is double, times two. Okay. Next word. Whoa! What's going on here? Wow! She looks very happy. Why? Look at her jeans. Her jeans are very wide here, but her jeans are a little skinnier, right? They're skinny here. They're not so wide. They're slim, slim. Or we could say skinny, skinny. Now, slim. Is a better word than skinny. Skinny seems oh pigori song japada, right? It's too thin, right? Skinny is not always very polite. Okay, slim is a better word, more polite in this situation. But what did she do? How did she become slim? How did she become slim? She had a plan 
to eat healthy food. She planned to eat healthy food and she followed her plan. That was a diet. So diet can be a noun or a verb, right? For example, I am on a diet, right? I am on a diet. That's a noun. That means I am careful about what I eat, right? I'm being careful about what I'm eating because I want to lose weight, right? Also, you can use it as a verb. I will diet. I will diet. So that's a verb. You can use it as a noun. You can use it as a verb. It means to plan your meals, to eat carefully. Maybe you want to lose weight or maybe you want to be healthier. No junk food. Okay? Okay, next one. Now, uh, to not be able to find something. This is a very common item that people forget. Where are they? Right? Odi kasel, right? Where did they go? To not be able to find something means that you lost it or you lose something, right? You lose it. Where are your keys? I don't know. Did you lose your keys? Sometimes you might lose your cell phone. Then you ask your friend, can you call me? And then you, oh, I hear it. Where's my cell phone? Ah, then you find it, right? But you lose, if you lose these things, you have to find them. So lose, be careful because it's a regular verb, right? I said lost just a few seconds ago. It's lose, lost, lost. Okay, so past tense. I lost my keys. I lost my cell phone. Have you lost your books? Right? Okay. So lose, lost, lost. Next word. Wow, she's having fun, right? She's jumping in the air. That's the word. To use your legs to go into the air. To jump up off the ground. How high can you jump? That's a good question. You can practice with your friends. How high can you jump? Okay? How high can you jump? After this lesson, if you have some playtime, go out with your friends. See how high you can jump. You can have a contest. But be careful, okay? Okay, next word. <clears throat> Eleven. They're having fun too, right? What are they doing? to hold something and move it toward yourself. So you hold something and you move it towards yourself. Like these people are doing, they've got that rope and they're, what are they doing? They are pulling, to pull. To pull is to hold it and move it towards yourself, to pull something. Now, you might ask, well, what's the opposite, right? Sometimes you have something near you, you want it away from you, so you go like this. The opposite of pull is push. So these two words are kind of used uh, very commonly, right? To push, to pull. Push, pull. Okay, these are pandero, opposites. Okay. Twelve. Whoa, they're really having a lot of fun, right? This is a roller coaster. Ro oh, that's a long word, isn't it? Roller coaster. Roller coaster, kind of scary. Have you ever been on a roller coaster? First you go up, and then from a higher place, you go to a lower place. You go up, and then you go down, right? You go up, then you go down. These people are going down very fast. It's very scary, right? So go up, then you go down. To go from a higher place to a lower place to go down. Thirteen. This person has a job that is not easy. His job is not easy, so we say it is hard. He has a hard job. Another word for hard, the same meaning, is difficult, right? Himdoro, right? Difficult, hard. It's hard, it's difficult. Oh, no more himdoro, right? It's very difficult, it's very hard. It's not easy. Okay, number 14, kind of an interesting picture. We have many uh, little balls. They're all sad, but one ball is happy, right? 
He's not the same as something else, not the same as the other things in the group. Something that is what? That is different. 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 Okay? This person, or this little ball, not a person, this little ball is different from the other balls, right? So you see one thing that looks different from many other things. It's unique. It's different. Okay? Number 15. <laughs> I feel sorry for this guy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, they're just playing. To take something from one place to another. So if you pick something up and you move it from one place to another place, what are you doing? It is to carry. You are carrying the boxes. You are carrying your books. What do you carry every day? You probably carry your backpack, right? From your home to your school and then back again. In your backpack, you carry books, maybe your lunch, pens, pencils, lots of things. You carry many things in your backpack. You carry many things in your pockets. Okay, to carry. Our last word here, these guys look like they're very happy with each other. They look very uh, like they are what, right? Someone you like very much. Someone that you like very much, what do you call that person? You call that person a friend. That person is my friend. I like him or her very much. He or she is my friend. Okay, we've studied the words. Now it's time to look at the exercises to review the vocabulary we just learned. Let's take a look here. Here are our words. There are eight words we need to look at. The object of the exercise is complete each sentence. So we have sentences here. We need to fill in the blanks with these words. Our words are, let's go over them together, impossible impossible. Next one, Jupiter, Jupiter. Okay, next one, way, way. Next one, diet, diet. The next one, gravity, gravity. Next one is heavier, heavier. Notice heavier, right, is in the comparison. You're saying it's heavier somewhere else, right? It's heavier. Not heavy, but heavier. So we need to pay attention to the sentence in which this is used. Next one, double, double. And the last one, lighter, lighter. Notice also that lighter is in the comparative form. Not light, but lighter. So we have to be careful about these two words. They're very similar. We have to pay attention to what the sentence is saying. Let's begin with number one. We weigh less on the moon. So of course the earth has a moon, right? If we were there, we would weigh less. We are beep there. So if we weigh less, on earth we weigh this much, but on the moon we weigh less. What does that mean? It means that we are what? Heavier or lighter on the moon? It means we are lighter on the moon, right? We weigh maybe 100 kilograms on the earth. Maybe we weigh, I don't know, let's just say 60 kilograms on the moon. We weigh less there. There means on the moon, okay? So we, weigh, we are lighter on the moon, okay? Number two, I'm too heavy. I need to go on a... So if somebody's too heavy, they're a little tung tung hada, right? <laughs> or dung dung hada, either one, right? They are what? They want, to, they want to go on something. Remember the word I taught you? You can use it as a noun or a verb, right? If you want to lose weight, you want to change your, the, what you eat, you go on a diet. You go on a diet. That's the proper expression to use with diet. Go on a diet, right? Don't say, I am diet. No, don't say that. That's Konglish. That's incorrect. Say, I am going to go on a diet or I am on a diet, okay? On a diet. 
Okay, three, how heavy is it? So you want to know how heavy is it, or remember what I taught you before, how much does it weigh, right? Whoops, how much does it weigh? How heavy is it is the same, same question, how much does it weigh? So if you want to know how heavy something is or how light something is, you want to know how much it weighs. So what do you do? Of course, you say let's weigh it. You could use the same word. How much does it weigh? Let's weigh it. How heavy is it? Let's weigh it. How light is it? Let's weigh it. All those three questions mean the same thing. Okay, number four. We weigh more on the sun. <laughs> if we were on the sun, of course, we would die. It's too hot, right? We'd disappear. But just imagine if we could be on the sun. The sun's really big, so it has really a lot more gravity, much more force pulling you to the sun. We weigh more on the sun. We are what there? Okay, this is like the other question, number one, we weigh less on the moon, right? So we are lighter there. In this case, we weigh more on the sun, so we are what? Of course, we are heavier there. There again refers to on the sun, right? So we are heavier on the sun than we are on earth because we weigh more there, okay? Number five, the biggest planet is, remember when we studied this word, it said the largest planet, but largest, biggest, they mean the same thing. Largest, biggest, same thing. So the largest, the biggest, the largest planet, the biggest planet, same meaning, is what? Well, of course, there's only one planet here, and that planet is Jupiter, Jupiter. Six. Beep is what pulls us down. I talked about that before when I was talking about the sun. The sun is huge. It has a lot more what. It's the force that pulls us down to the ground, right? Oh, there's too much gravity. Okay, I'm back. Okay, <laughs> we're not on the sun. We're on Earth. Okay, so gravity is what pulls us down, right? It's gravity. Okay, number seven. <laughs> okay, like I said before, people can't live on the sun. Why not? Because it's what? It, like I said before, if we were on the sun, we'd burn up, right? We can't live on the sun. It is impossible. No way can we live on the sun. It's too hot, right? Okay. Eight, we weigh beep on Jupiter. So we weigh what on Jupiter? Now this is hard to know because we didn't really cover that in the vocabulary section, right? But this is in the reading. But basically think about this. Jupiter is a very big planet, right? It's huge, okay? And uh, we weigh more on Jupiter. In fact, we weigh double on Jupiter. If you looked at, uh, you know, uh, more, actually it's more than double. We weigh more than. And we'll find that out in the reading. We weigh more than double, more than two times. Why? Because as we said before, Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It has a lot more gravity, so we would weigh more than double on Jupiter. Okay, so those are the words. That's the vocabulary section. Let's take a break now. We'll come back and we'll look at the reading. As you can see, the reading is going to be very interesting. Okay, so don't go away. Come back in a few uh, seconds or minutes. Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going over the reading now for lesson nine. How much do you weigh? Right? That's one of the questions we looked at. Now, of course, this is going to be an interesting reading. We're going to be talking about diet. We're going to be talking about space travel, right? So let's figure out some of these questions when we talk about how much do you weigh? So the first line of this reading passage is a question. Do you know someone trying to lose weight. So do you know someone? Is there a friend? Is there a relative? Is there somebody that you know who is trying to do something? Who is trying to lose weight? So do you know somebody who is trying to lose weight? Okay, maybe they are 
on a diet. Remember we talked about this before. Diet is when you are careful about what you eat, right? If you go on a diet, you're changing your eating habits. You're following some kind of plan for your diet. So maybe they are on a diet if they're trying to lose weight. Do they eat only fruits and vegetables? Okay, so of course if somebody changes their diet, they go on a diet, they say, okay, I'm only going to eat fruit and vegetables, no candy, no junk food, nothing sweet. That's himduro, right? That's hard. It's difficult. But hey, well, there is an easier way to be lighter. All you have to do is go to the moon. Okay, so these next two sentences say, well, there's an easier way to be lighter. There's an easier way. I'm going to tell you what that way is. The way is, all you have to do, that's like, all you have to do, it's very easy. You only have to do one thing, is to go to the moon. Now, of course, you're saying, what? That's not easy. I don't have a spaceship. I don't have an astronaut's uh, suit. So they're just being kind of like funny here. It's just uh, imagination, right? Uh, they're just imagining. It's not, we can't say that it's like they're really saying, oh, all you have to do is go to the moon, right? Because that's not easy. It's very hard to go to the moon. But what they're saying, they're making a connection here. They're saying that if you were on the moon, you would automatically be lighter. You wouldn't have to go on a diet. You would, it seems like you would lose weight very quickly. Why is that? Well, astronauts on the moon can jump very high. Astronauts on the moon can jump very high. Do you know why? Do you know why they can? Because, it doesn't say that, but they're saying because, right? There is less gravity on the moon. Gravity pulls us down. It makes us heavy. So if we look at this section of the reading passage here, right, we start off with it and they say astronauts on the moon can jump very high. But they're asking you, do you know why? Do you know why they can jump high? Then they give the answer. The answer is right here because there is less gravity on the moon. They don't have to say because, but it's just assumed. We just think that because is here. It's the answer to the question, do you know why? There is less gravity on the moon. Because there is less gravity on the moon. But it's better not to start the sentence with because. This is better. There is less gravity on the moon. And then it gives two sentences, right, about gravity, defining what is gravity. The first sentence says gravity pulls us down. That kind of defines what is gravity. Also, it makes us heavy. That's the second sentence that tells us about gravity. Okay, so that's the way that this is structured here. But it basically it's saying there is less gravity on the moon, so we don't weigh so much. We are lighter on the moon. And that's why if we just go to the moon, Wow, we lose weight very quickly. We don't have to go on a diet. Okay? Okay, next one. There is little gravity on the moon. Little gravity on the moon. Because the moon is smaller. It doesn't say that, but we know that the moon is smaller than the Earth. So there's less gravity. If a planet is smaller, it has less gravity. If the planet's bigger, it has more gravity. Because there's more uh, force. Okay? There is little gravity on the moon. On the moon, we all, all of us, it doesn't matter who it is, right? A, a little baby or a huge man, they all weigh. They all weigh one-sixth of what we do on Earth. One-sixth, if you look at it in numbers, it's like this, one-sixth, okay? So if you have a hole, right, you have a hole, that would be half, that would be quarters, and then I guess one-sixth would be something like this, right? That's whole, 100%, and then this is maybe one-sixth. It's a small portion of the whole, okay? One-sixth of what we do on Earth. If you weigh 60 kilograms, so this is an example. If you weigh 60 kilograms on Earth, then you weigh only 10 kilograms on the moon. Wow, that's crazy, right? So 60 kilograms, 60 kilograms on Earth, right? 
But if you were on the moon, you would only weigh ten. Whoops, ten kilograms. Wow, that's amazing, right? That's it's like one sixth of the whole, right? So obviously, if you only weigh ten kilograms on the moon, you can jump really high because your muscles are made for sixty kilograms. But now you only have ten kilograms. Wow, you can really jump high. There is less gravity on the moon. Next one. How much we weigh is different on each planet. Like I said before, if the planet is small, you have less gravity. If the planet is bigger, you have more gravity. For example, on some planets we weigh more. Jupiter is the biggest planet. So the bigger the planet, the more gravity. Jupiter is the biggest planet. What do you think happens on Jupiter? On Jupiter, we weigh more than double, more than double. So that would be very difficult, right? Let's look at the example here. If you weigh sixty kilograms here, here of course we're still talking about the Earth. Here, of course, here is the Earth. We're all on the Earth, right? So here is the Earth. Then you weigh one hundred forty-two kilograms on Jupiter. Wow! Can you imagine weighing 142 kilograms? That would be really heavy, right? We can't jump very high there. Of course, there it means on Jupiter, on Jupiter, right? On Jupiter, right here. Okay? We can't jump very high there. Just walking around would be hard to do. Of course, if you weigh a hundred. And forty-two, one hundred and forty-two kilograms. That's a lot of weight. It would be hard just walking around. Oh, right, hard to lift your arm even, right? Because you weigh so much. Jupiter has so much gravity. It would be very hard even to stand up, to wake up in the morning, right? To get out of bed. No, I want to sleep. It's too hard, right? But imagine if somebody grew up on Jupiter and came to Earth, they would be like a super person, right? Superman or superwoman, okay? But of course, there's nobody living on Jupiter, okay? Okay. Anyway, next one. So, think you weigh a lot on Jupiter? Sometimes people will say think. It means do you think? Do you think? So sometimes people will ask a question. They'll just say think. And what they mean is, do you think? Do you think? But sometimes native speakers won't say, do you? They'll just start with think. Think you weigh a lot on Jupiter? Do you think you weigh a lot on Jupiter? Well, you're even heavier on the sun. So this question is asking. So do you think that's heavy on Jupiter? They're going to give you another example that's even more extreme, right? So whenever people ask you that type of question, think you weigh a lot? Oh, you think you're smart? Oh, you think you're so good? Well, my friend, and they will give you an example that's more extreme. Okay, and that's what's going on here. Think you weigh a lot on Jupiter? Well, you're even heavier. On the sun, a 60 kilogram person weighs. Oh my gosh, 1,624. Say it after me. 1,624. Can you imagine that? If you weighed 1,624 kilograms, right? You would fall down. You wouldn't be able to get up. That's huge. That's like having a, a truck or two trucks on your back. You can't do that. Okay, that's 27 times as much as on the Earth. Imagine carrying 27 of your friends on your back. It's impossible, right? You can't carry 27 of your friends who weigh the same as you. You couldn't do that. Right? You would you would be on the ground. You couldn't get up. Of course, that would be if you were on the sun. But then, of course, we can't be on the sun anyway. We'd burn up. Okay? But it's just imagination.
Imagine if the sun was cool and we could stand on it. It's so big that it has so much gravity, we'd weigh 27 times as much and we would not be able to move around. So the gravity on the sun is very, very strong. Okay, let's go over the reading comprehension questions. Number one, this story is about. Always we ask, what is this story about? What is the whole idea, right? We talked about lots of different things. We talked about going on a diet. We talked about traveling to the moon. We talked about going to Jupiter. We talked about being on the sun. But why did we talk about all of those things? Because we were talking about the weight of a person. Let's take a look at um, uh, something here. A uh, is Jupiter. Yeah, we talked about Jupiter. B, we talked about the moon. C, we talked about gravity. And D, did we talk about dieting? So out of all those different things, we we're kind of talking about how much people weigh in different places. Why? Not because of where they were, but because of the gravity in those places, right? So we would say this story is about gravity because we said on Earth, we weigh this much. On the moon, we weigh a sixth of that. On Jupiter, we weigh more than double that. And on the sun, we weigh 27 times that. So in each place, we're talking about gravity and how much uh, we would weigh on each, in each place. Okay, so this whole story is about gravity. Okay, number two. How much we weigh is beep on each planet, okay? We talked about this quite a bit, right? We said smaller planet, you weigh less. A bigger planet, you weigh more. So what is it? Is it double? How much we weigh is double on each planet? It's only for Jupiter, not each planet. So A is not right. B is the same on each planet? No, we talked about that. Smaller planet, uh, less. Bigger planet, more. So that is different? Yes, it's different because less and more, it depends on which planet you are on. How much we weigh is different on each planet. Not one-sixth, that's only one case. One-sixth is only for the moon, not each planet. So, how much we weigh is different on each planet because we're talking about many different planets. It's different on each. Okay. Three. We can't jump very high where? There were two places we talked about, actually, where we can't jump very high, but only one of those places is mentioned in the answer choices. Which one? So, we can't jump very high on the moon. Is that true? It's not true. Why? Because we said we weigh one-sixth on the moon. If we weigh 60 kilograms on Earth, we only weigh 10 kilograms on the moon, Yes, we can jump really, really high. So it's not on the moon. B, on Earth, we can't jump very high on the Earth. Well, it depends on how strong you are, but that's not what the reading was talking about. The reading didn't mention jumping on Earth, right? Okay, C, uh, on a spaceship. We can't jump very high on a spaceship. Well, think about that. A spaceship, if you're in a spaceship, you're away from Earth, there's no gravity. If you jump, you keep going. <laughs> you don't slow down, right? But you have to be very careful. On a spaceship, there's a ceiling, right? So if you jump, you're going to hit your head on the ceiling. Unless there's a really big space in, this, in the spaceship, you have a lot of room. You may be able to jump from one side of the room to the other side of the room very easily, even going up, because there's no gravity. So C is not the correct, because it's cannot, right? Well, what about on Jupiter? That leaves us on Jupiter. Think about that. On Jupiter, we weigh more than double, right? If you weigh 60 kilograms on Earth, you weigh 142 kilograms on Jupiter. That's very himdoro to jump high. So the correct answer is on Jupiter. We can't jump very high on Jupiter because there's a lot more gravity. Number four, people go on a diet, go on a diet to do what? Why do people go on a diet? What is their purpose? What is the reason? A, to be heavier. People go on a diet because they want to gain weight? No, they don't do that. B, 
People go on a diet to eat more candy. Wow, that's a good idea, right? No, it's not a good idea, but it sounds fun. But you don't go on a diet to eat more candy, right? You just eat more candy. But don't do that. It's not good for your teeth. It's not good for your belly either. So that's not correct. People go on a diet to be astronauts. No, not really. They don't do that. They have to study hard instead. So we have people go on a diet to lose weight. That's the answer, right? And that's true. People go on a diet. If you go on a diet, it's because you want to lose weight. You want to lose weight. Don't say lose your weight, by the way. Don't say that. They just want to lose weight. Lose. Don't use a possessive pronoun with weight. Lose weight. Okay? Don't say that. Do not. Right? I want to lose my weight? No. I want to lose weight. Did you lose your weight? No. Did you lose weight? Don't use your or my with weight. People go on a diet to lose weight. That's correct. Okay. Let's review here. How much do you weigh? Right? How much do you weigh? Maybe some of you weigh 60 kilograms. Maybe some of you weigh a little bit more. Maybe some of you weigh a little bit less. Okay, that's about you know, average 60 kilograms. Well, in the review of our uh, unit, what we were talking about here, if you weigh 60 kilograms on Earth, then you weigh only 10 kilograms on the moon, right? That's very interesting. If you traveled to the moon, you would only weigh one-sixth of what you weigh on Earth. Okay, that's one thing we learned. Another thing is, on Jupiter, we weigh more more than double, right? 60 kilograms to 142 kilograms, right? 60 kilograms, by the way, what is, oops, what is 60 kilograms times two? It's 120 kilograms, right? But we don't weigh 120, we would weigh 142, that's more. So more than double, okay, more than double. And finally, what else did we learn? you're 27 times heavier on the sun. So if you were on the sun, it's like 27 of your friends who weigh the same as you are on your back, right? You couldn't move. You'd be like in a soccer, you know, people piling up on the soccer or the rugby. You couldn't move. There's a big pile of people. It's imaginary that you would have this big pile of people on you. You would feel like that if you were on the sun. So you would, you would be flat on your stomach. You couldn't move. Okay, so that uh, wraps up our unit here. Uh, very interesting. How much do you weigh? We looked at uh, weight. We looked at, so very interesting to think about how much would you weigh on different planets. Hope you've learned a lot. As always, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.